going on everybody welcome to episode 80 of our Watford career mode and today two games for you we've got Liverpool and then Leeds in the Premier League last episode we had a huge set of games we had West Ham and Manchester United knocked them both away and now we have another big dog Liverpool though they're not having the greatest of seasons by the looks of it and then Leeds as we sit top of the table one point ahead of Arsenal goal difference ahead of Manchester City who continue to blow teams away so it's going to be a very 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 tough way to the title 40 points 41 points after 16 games is an absurd number and uh, <laughs> City continue to keep up with it so we're going to jump right on into this Liverpool game Watford Liverpool everyone's fit everyone's ready to go let's go Nicely played. It's good football here. One more. Jonathan David in space. Gets it back inside. It's a lovely take from him. Jonathan David almost giving us another early goal. Is that... <sighs> Emre Chan is a strike. And it's saved away. A couple games in a row now. Three or four where we scored in the first five minutes. Almost happened again there. Though Vinicius turns as he continues to look for that early opening goal. And it's Vinicius and another really good save. And at the moment, Becker, or Allison, Becker, however you want to call him. We call him Allison here. It's keeping him in it a little bit. It's a good turn. Back to Chamberlain. In a good spot is Milik. And he plays a really good ball into Tillemans. And it's a good save by Rui. A very, very different Liverpool squad than we're normally seeing. Salas and Trent and Allison seem to be the only players I recognize. Um, but it's a very, very different team. They almost score right there. Nice block. Lovely stuff here. One more. Jonathan David does so, so well. But Bastos does manage to hold it off. But it comes back to him. And oh, what a finish from Hernandez. That's a brilliant finish. It's 1-0. Bastos cutting the way. He did really well to get onto it, but Hernandez managed to nick it back and keep hold of it. And then he just fires home a really, really good finish to give us a 1-0 lead. Bastos, he just gets in the way. It's blocked away. And then it comes back to Hernandez. That's a brilliant finish. It just is just that touch there. And then a quick, it's taken early. And right into that bottom corner, past Allison, a brilliant goal. It's 1-0 here on 32 minutes. Nicely played there as well. One more. Here's Fabian. And get that out there. He can. Brilliantly done by Fabian. And Vinicius is in a great spot. And Vinicius gets it across. It's two. A great break. And Vinicius doing all the hard work here. It's Jonathan David with the goal. It's 2-0. And in a great position here now at Vicarage Road. It's very well done. It's played out so well by Fabienne. And the pace just takes him into a great spot. He clips it back across. And Jonathan David goes for it. Hernandez jumps out of the way just over the ball. It goes between his legs into the back of the net. And just before halftime, we've taken a 2-0 lead. Nicely done. Back across. I'm Ray Chen. And it's a good turn can we slip it through we can and it's Emery Chan he could have sealed this game up right there against his former team and Liverpool have taken Mo Salah off and bought on Adnan and Uzai it's a very strange Liverpool team we've got here now Somalia Sar has got plenty of space no one's going to step up on him actually so we can actually break Chamberlain is chasing but Chamberlain slows up and Ch Oxley Chamberlain is not the player we're talking about as Molly Sar goes for a goal. That gets blocked away. I'm not sure if that got saved or blocked. It looked like it was going to get blocked because the save for a moment looked like it wouldn't happen. As Kent, another former Liverpool player here, forces a good save out of Allison, And then eventually Liverpool clear. We do win it back though. Poor from Bastos. And we can get it across and that's it. Game over. 3-0. It's a tap-in in the end for Ismailia Sar. Kent coming on and forcing some problems there. Nicks it off the man. Drives forward, lays it off. And it's a tap-in for Ismailia Sar. And this Liverpool team are nothing like the Liverpool team of now. As that gets slipped across into the back of the net. Tap-in. 3-0. 15 minutes to go. Game over. 
Ray Chan on it, gets it across. Here's Barco. Can he slip this in? Not quite. He comes back to him. He's slipping in again. He can. Hernandez for. And Liverpool falling apart here. They're pretty far down the table, and you can see why. It's a completely different 11. All the threatening players are practically gone. They are a shell of their current self. He gets a little bit lucky, Barcos. That comes back to him, but he lays it off, and Hernandez makes no mistake as he slots it into that bottom corner. Another for him. It's 4-0. After this game, we're going to check her, what how many goals Hernandez has scored this year. Someone had asked in a comment on video two or three videos ago. Um, I've recorded This is the third video I've recorded, so I believe episode 77 was the video someone had asked that comment on and I read that comment as I was making this video. We gotta make sure we go ahead and see how many goals Hernandez has scored. And Barco here racing away. We can find out right now perhaps if Hernandez keeps on running. But Barco's the one who keeps on running and Barco gets into space, holds on to it. Look at Barco doing all the work and then eventually cleared. A minute to go here as we almost nick it off Chamberlain. And we are going to come away with a large victory here over Liverpool. Is there time here for another, though? He gets it to Barco. Barco turns, slips it back. Hernandez, he's finished it. It's five. And we can check how many goals Hernandez has here. Let's take a look. And that's another to add to his tally. A poor giveaway from Liverpool, who have given up already. 5-0 is going to be the final here. Barco with a good turn and a good run. And that's a good finish as well from Hernandez. Nicely done. How many goals for the season does he have in the Premier League? He's definitely got more than what he's got in the Premier League as well. Let's see. Hernandez, 17 goals in the Premier League so far this season. He's got more than that on the year already. But we've not even reached halfway point yet. And Hernandez is tearing the league apart. As he goes and collects his match ball, another hat trick. He's had three shots, three have gone in. Brilliantly done from Hernandez. We can take a look at how many proper goals he's got. As Tottenham win, Chelsea and Arsenal draw. That is a good result for us. Arsenal pushed further back a little bit. City do beat West Ham. So that's not great for us, but West Ham do get pushed further back. Um, and there we are in the league. Three points now ahead of third place. It's us in City level. And it's goal difference separating us. But let's take a look at how many... Let's take a look at Hernandez really quick. Just because one of you lads asked for it. And down we go. Oh, I thought we got all the way by. Here we go. Uh, stats. Hernandez, 21 appearances, 20 goals, and 11 assists. 17 goals and 9 assists in 17 games in the Premier League. He is... Almost at a goal a game. He is on fire. And we, as a team, are also on fire, sitting on top of the Premier League. Let's take a look at what the goal difference change here is between us and Manchester City. A 5-0 win there has done it. And they're still within five. So they continue to throttle teams. And we've made up five goal difference there, and it's five. They would have been close to catching us had we not killed Liverpool there. But let's jump into it. A big game against Leeds. we got to keep on winning. Let's uh, bring Graylish into the side. Fernandez can start. Uh, Max Ahrens. Uh, we can also go center back here. I think that is good. We'll start with Kent and we'll bring Saar on if we need to. Saar's getting a little bit tired, but let's jump into it. Leeds, Watford. Let's go. Nice take in midfield by Emre Chan. He gets it out to Kent. And Kent is running with it here. Can he get this out wide? He can. Here's Vinicius. Had to go back and get it a little bit. But his pace has made up the ground rather easily. Slips it into space. Can we go for goal? That's a big block. Goalkeeper probably had that covered, but still a rather big block. There's only two minutes before halftime here, and I don't think there's... I can't remember if there's been a highlight or not. It's been uh, very subdued, though we might have a highlight here as Vinicius is racing forward. And Vinicius, can he score? Oh, it's a good save. That, that half, to be completely fair, did not deserve a goal from either side. It's been very poor, very few attempts, very few anything. And it's nil-nil at the half. We need to be much better after the break.
running with pace. Jonathan David is making that run, but held on to nicely by the Lee's defense, but it's let Barco leak here, and here comes Barco, and he slides it across, and is this one nil? It is, and a very subdued game. We break the opposite way. It's a great turn there. I'm not, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Jonathan David. Jetson Fernandez with the goal. It's a tap in. Barco escaped, but it's the turn. I believe that's Jonathan David. It was him or Fernandez. Whoever turned there, turned out of two tackles and then just let the ball fall into Barco's path. We've been poor all game, but we've taken the lead here. 1-0 with 25 minutes to go. Free kick in a dangerous spot. We're not going to go directly to goal from here. We'll get it to Emre Chan who turns and finds a good spot. And, oh, that's just past the post. I thought he'd fired it home. I guess he's saved it or something's clipped it. But that looked for a moment like it was going into the back of the net. Very close. Oh, what has gone on there? He's gone right through the middle here. He goes for goal from distance. And Rui comes up with a massive save. What is that? A poor attempt at a clearance or a touch or whatever. And it almost costs a goal. And it's eventually put out for a goal kick. 15 minutes to go. Nice tackle. One more here to Barco. Jonathan David making the run. Barco using his pace. Still holding on to it, making waiting for runs from midfield. And there we go. That's the football we won. And Vinicius has got to finish that. We've got to seal this game up. Very close. Five minutes to go. Leeds are still in this. It's going to be a tight finale. Oh, uh, what is that giveaway? I thought it was going to be a foul. That's a good shot. It's off the post. Jesus, get the ball out. Oh, wow, that hit the post. I thought the foul was coming, and then we just gave it right away. Can we get to this? Not quite. A minute and a half to go. Can we hold leads off here? They've almost equalized. It's been very, very tough. We've been not so great. We almost give away the equalizer. That should be game over, though, as we win it there. Blow the whistle. Thankfully, we get out of here with a 1-0 lead. We'll take it and go. We weren't very good, but... Good teams win poor games sometimes, and we've done that there. It's been a very poor game. Nine shots combined. City win 1-0. We win 1-0. Chelsea win 3-0. West Ham lose to Manchester United. I don't see Arsenal on there. We escape. Risk of losing two players to Corey and De La Feu. We're going to go ahead and sign them up. Um, delegate renewal. That's that's fine. I'm not <laughs> I'm not too worried about the finances. All right, we could have gone lower on those delegations. They start really high, by the way. If you haven't noticed that, they do start really high. You can normally go pretty far down on those delegations. But let's uh cut this. And then we're going to jump forward to the next game, which will be next episode. But I kind of just want to see where we end up in the league before we go ahead and get there. Our next game is against Arsenal, who could be third place if they play their game, which is what I'm kind of waiting for. Um, and yes, three points behind us, and we play them next. Uh, this is also a scout report on Pedro de la Vega. Someone had asked me about how well he was doing here, and here he is, 21 80 overall, 99 sprint speed, Jesus Christ, 95 acceleration, 96 agility. He's pretty good. 84 ball control, 88 dribbling. He can use some work here and there, but at 21, that is a good little prospect. So whoever asked for that, there you go. But guys, next episode, we'll be looking at three games, Arsenal, Fulham, and Chelsea. And then we have the FA Cup coming, Middlesbrough, and then we have, obviously, loads and loads of games from here on out, guys. But today, that is going to be it for me. I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.